Hi, my name is Ginny and I'm a, I'm a goal setting coach and I help make your dreams into a reality. I'm also a certified hypnotist, um, novelist, author, content creator. I'm on YouTube, I'm on TikTok, I'm on Spotify, and a lot of places. Um, anyway, uh, I'm a law of attraction practitioner and um, I realized that I have so much knowledge and experience, a lot of trials and errors uh, that I want to share to people, you know, because it really helps to share what you know. Otherwise, it's just going to go to waste, you know, all of the hours that I've listened to audiobooks, the certifications that I've had, um, the books that I've read, and I kid you not, there's a do dozens and dozens, all the experiences, all the years trial and error, just experiences uh, on my manifestation journey. I want to share that to people. I also do accept coaching one-on-one -on -one, and I will provide a link below um, on my YouTube. And yeah, so if you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, we can definitely do stuff. I'm certified. Uh, I'm an associate pranic healer, like energy healer and the works, you know, um, Anyway, so today I will be talking about the bucket list. So I actually I had a, a conversation with one of my friends and he was asking me like, why are you in a hurry to um, work on your bucket list? Are you going anytime soon? <laughs> you know, no, I'm not going anytime soon, but I just decided to restart my bucket list. Not that I ever stopped it. I've always had a bucket list, you know, I've always, but to really actively work on your bucket list, to realize that you really don't have a lot of time on this planet and it will give you a better idea of what it is that you really want to experience in this lifetime. So I lost a dear friend and since I am Buddhist, I have a better, understanding of life and death and I know that life and death they're they're part of the cycles of living you know living on this planet living in the universe we will go through you know cycles of life and death if you don't believe that um, at least believe one thing we will our physical bodies will perish eventually and if you still don't believe that um, at least believe that we have a, life is precious and we have limited time on this planet you know we want to make it really happy you know live a happier life so years ago uh, after college i was very depressed i didn't know what to, to do with my life i was contemplating whether to go to med school do something different um is my parent my parents actually just said, just finish your, get your college degree. That's it. Whatever you do after that, that's your choice. Just finish something. And I did, uh, I'm a, a licensed physical therapist in several states, but now like just in Texas <laughs> anyway. Um, but after college, I was like, what should I do? Should I continue with this journey in healthcare? Should I do something else? So I did spend a lot of years in college just doing things, but not really having a direction. So I was really lucky that my parents are very generous. So I did, uh, which allowed me to really think about my path after college because, you know, they supported us uh, through the years and they continue to support us and or only one parent is alive. But anyway, um, my dad still continues to support whatever endeavors that I have. He's really very open-minded. And so, but with that comes the uh, depression, the, the uncertainty. Like I didn't really want to do, I didn't know what to do with my life. So at that point, uh, during the height of my depression, I did create a bucket list, which means like, what do I want to accomplish in this lifetime? You know, because it feels like, you know, what is the direction my life is going to take and right now i realize that as long as you take steps and you do create that bucket list you do really live a meaningful and wonderful life 
And one of the things in my bucket list is, of course, live and work in New York, which is done, been there, done that. Uh, jump off a cliff, been there, done that. Um, fly a plane, I just recently did that. I wasn't really, someone was helping me fly it, but still, you know, it was on my bucket list for years. I'm like, I really, really want to try to see how that feels, even if, you know, the uh, instructor or the uh, pilot was like moving the joystick around for me. I still did get that experience of like, oh my God, like I'm doing this, I'm steering it for this many minutes, but then he was still like uh, uh, wrangling it from me, but it was still a good experience. Anyway, also well, one of the things in my bucket list was uh, I wanted to go to Europe, which happened years ago. Uh, and I'm gonna restart that because I'm gonna visit Europe again now that everything's opening up again, right? Yeah, it's a bacon there. You can't see him. But anyway, so what's the difference between a bucket list and an intention list? So bucket list is all about experiences. What do you wanna, oh, okay, so he is back, everybody. So for some reason he goes away, he complains, and then he comes back. So this is Bacon. So he's like, no, I don't want to be in the video. And then I'm going to whine and then, but I want to be on the video again. So, okay. So bucket list is more about experiences and it's more long-term and it's for your lifetime. You know, what do you really want to accomplish in your lifetime, you know? And it could be the simple things, like in my case, live and work in New York. So I did that already, crossed out. Um, swim with whales and sharks so in a way i did swim with a whale shark which is a type of whale not really a shark but you know maybe i should put that on my list specifically uh shark you know um to become a writer you know to have my own cooking show um those were my part of my bucket list to live and work in america that's on my bucket list so my intention list is different because it's all about like short term, three to five years, and it's more about things and achievements. You know, it's your intention like, oh, I want to buy KitchenAid or I want to buy new set of furniture or I really want to have a high end PC or desktop. So it's more about uh, owning things and achieving things but not necessarily experiencing things although it can still be but i really think that you should consider setting up a bucket list like you know like what are the things that you really want to accomplish in this lifetime once you do that you realize like oh my god like there's so many fun things that i want to experience and you know, we really, uh, I had a close friend that died in his early 30s. He recently passed away. Um, but I'm very fortunate to have known him while he was on this planet. Uh, he was a really, really fun and funny person. And so, but there was a lot of things that he wanted to do. And so our, our life is not really uh, how long we live for. It's not really guaranteed. You might as well work on your bucket list, right, Bubba? <laughs> so, yeah, so do think about it. Do consider it because it will really help you in your manifestation journey. And yeah, owning a dog like Bacon is also part of my bucket list, not necessarily my intention list, you know? <laughs> so. Okay. Yeah, he's very... This is what he does. So he wants to be the star. Okay. Yeah, you are the star, Bacon. So anyway, yeah, do think about it. Uh, think about your bucket list and what is it that you want to achieve in this lifetime. So yeah, I'm, because I have crossed out a lot of stuff on my bucket list, I'm gonna, you don't have to wait until New Year or next New Year. You can do it at any time. You know, you can do it on a Sunday. You can do it on a Monday. It doesn't matter. You can do it after you do this video. Just do it. And yeah, think about it. Do your bucket list. Write your bucket list. Right, Bubba?
he has a bucket list. He's already done half of them. Yeah. I think one, one, one of his bucket lists is to eat steak, right, bacon? Yeah, I'll give him steak one of these days. Right, Baba? Okay. So thank you very much for watching. And uh, if you want more of my content, review my videos on YouTube and TikTok. Mystic Genie is my handle on TikTok. YouTube is Genie Hermoso, H-E-R-M-O-S-O. -S -S Check me out on Amazon. Uh, my website is homeofgenie at gmail.com. I am updating it so that it contains all of the things that I'm working on because I work on a lot of stuff, right? Yeah. Which includes taking care of bacon too. He's like, he needs 24 hour care. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.